Hi there, Perfecto De Castro here and welcome to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. This video is my recap of the NAMM 2023 show. Here we go. NAMM 2023 was again a smallish event similar to NAMM 2022. And despite the absence of the big brands, that did not stop us from getting together in Anaheim, California and geeking out on some gear. For me personally, this NAMM was more about catching up with friends and current brand contacts, as well as connecting and getting to know some new prospects. Now, unlike my previous NAMM videos where I gave daily recaps, I decided to spend the first couple of days just meeting people and taking the odd photo here and there, not really filming anything. This allowed me to really connect and spend quality time with my friends and colleagues. Now, I already posted these photos to my Instagram account, so if you follow me there, you may have already seen them, but here is a slideshow anyway. Enjoy. Now here's a few guitars and gear that I found interesting at the 2023 NAMM show. First up is this Shabbat Guitars Lynx model with a Floyd Rose. Nicely relic and right up my alley. Here's a quick clip I filmed during setup day, uh, right before I met up with Danish Pete. <laughs> Tajima is stepping up their game by offering Brazil-made guitars assembled right here in the U.S. A perfect example of which is this metallic purple Stella, which has two humbuckers, a whammy bar, and a kill switch. Here's how it sounds. <laughs> I'm looking forward to playing these here in my studio. Next stop is the Ormsby Guitars booth, and I played this beautiful looking six string with a prototype angled whammy bar for fan fretted guitars. <laughs> it's pretty amazing actually. <laughs> I 
I can't wait for the final version to come out. This might be a game changer for those of us who love fan frets and whammy bars. I also met up with our friends at Anatomy of Sound Picks and we had a great time catching up. Unfortunately, we didn't get to take any good photos together. However, I am happy to show you guys the new PDC branded Heart Attack Picks. I helped develop these picks and thanks to a couple of videos I published a few weeks back, there is great interest in these. So you can check them out at anatomyofsound.com and for those in the Philippines, Anatomy of Sound picks will soon be available at Guitar Pusher. Also crowd favorite is the Cream Guitars booth from Mexico. Their instruments are real attention getters and they are made with top shelf components. I managed to record some quick clips with their voltage and revolver models. Full videos of these guitars will be on my channel soon. By the way, big thanks to Rocket Music Gear for the strap that I've been using in these clips. It is the Shattered Mirror Purple Holographic Strap. Get yours at rocketmusicgear.com. Certainly looks great on video and in these pics from a photo shoot I did with my good friend Molly Mar. Speaking of straps, my next cool NAM find are these universal strap locks from Rocklock. These are designed to be used with your favorite strap to securely lock onto any guitar strap button. It's made of special plastic that's durable but won't scratch your guitar's finish. Right now I'm using a set on the strap of my Embrace guitar stand. That way I can easily change guitars and still have them securely attached. These will be available soon. Their website is therocklock.com. Crafter Guitars of Korea are makers of fine acoustic guitars, and they are about to jump into the electric pool. If this Type 1 S-style guitar is any indication of the instrument's forthcoming, then we'll have another excellent electric guitar option very soon. Plugged into the mighty Laney Iron Heart loud pedal, this Strati guitar gave back everything I asked from it. Finally, the star of this show for me is this red special replica from KZ Guitar Works. I'm not a Brian May devotee, but this is just an amazing guitar that I instantly bonded with.
it's in Japan right now to be shown at the upcoming Osaka Sound Messe, but it will find its way back to Los Angeles eventually. Now, there are other things in the works that I can't discuss yet, but rest assured, they are quite exciting and I can't wait to share them with you all. Well, there you have it. That is my NAM 2023 recap video. Like I mentioned, it was a smallish show, but all signs are pointing to a bigger NAM show when it happens again in its proper time of the year, January 2024. And of course, I will be there and I will show you guys everything that I find interesting. If you dug this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, hit subscribe if you haven't yet, and don't forget to ring that bell. And let me know what you think of this year's SNAM in the comments section. Click on an end card to go watch another video, then go grab your guitar and play something. Y'all know the drill, practice makes perfecto. Cheers guys. Thank you.